Hi, welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're gonna take a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Retro Collection Walmart exclusive gung-ho. It is a mouthful, but man, this is the figure that we've all wanted. This is the retro figure that I think at least 90%, if not more, this is what we really wanted, and this is what people have been asking for. So if you like the content on the channel, follow, hit the bell notification so you're notified when I do reviews, or other things that maybe upset other people. Who knows? I don't know what it is. And follow the channel. Like it. It all helps with the algorithm. So we're going to look at this guy. His giant, obnoxiously annoying card. I don't care because I'm going to open him up. And uh, compare him to our first gung-ho. And then our overing gung-ho. Which is really what we want to see. How much he looks just like that. So this is how he comes. You see, the box is pretty beat up. So, right here is how it came. Just bagged up. So, uh, if you watched my last review of Lady J, she came in a big, giant box. Bubble wrap. This guy came in a bag. So, I don't know if this is true, but this is something I did here last night. And I'm going to try this for now on when ordering from Walmart. Someone did say that if you order from Walmart and you tell them, like, there's a little checkbox to say... Um, this is a gift, please box. They will put it in a box and then you won't have to worry about it. They'll actually put it in a box now. How well of a box, is the box too small? Who knows, but it's worth a shot. So let's look at this. So you're looking at this card. This is a, this is a different render of the original, but it looks the same. They obviously have the different tattoo. It's not the Marine symbol we know. It bothers a lot of people. His gun is a little different, so it is a completely different render. Now, this figure doesn't look as obnoxiously big, in my opinion, and I think because you have such a much bigger figure, and with weapons that are bigger, where I know I've seen pictures of the Baroness and obviously the Lady J that I had, everything kind of seems scattered, where they could have made the bubble smaller. But there's just something about this. It's huge. Uh... Here, right here is how much bigger the card is compared to a Motu card. I know someone said it's not that much bigger, and they are correct, it's not that much bigger, but the width of it, it's just obnoxiously big. And if you go to my, my Instagram, uh, I did put the, uh, I did put a picture on that so you can see a full-size picture of it, of just how much bigger it does look. And I think because Motu figures take up, as you can see, like right here, Motu figure, they take up the whole thing and it's in the middle. Again, I don't think this one looks that bad compared to the Lady J. It's just too much, so enough of rambling on about that. So here we have the back. Here are the four figures that are coming in wave one. If you remember the Lady J, then we have these two. These two were blocked out because these ones should have come a long time ago and didn't. So I still haven't got my Destro. I have a feeling that one's going to get back ordered. Baroness. Says it should be here today. I have a feeling it's going to be here tomorrow. Here's our crappy file card. The file card is huge. There was no reason to make the file cards section file cards. They could have done a regular size file card. Would have made way more sense. Um, and given us all the figures that were going to be on there. All eight. But obviously they didn't. And you had your five points. Or I'm sorry. Your five language. Again, no one really likes them. Enough of looking at this. In the box is awful package can't breathe i mean he looks like he's, he's trying to grasp breath because he's been in plastic so long so let's open them up compare them and then you guys can run out and get it which i think everyone has them i think everyone has them on pre-order anyway so let's do this all right so i have it i've already cut this open now i do like to keep the card easiest thing to do take a razor blade slice right across it slice on the back thing will come off thing pops right off so this can be right out of the package because I like to show people we can see how stiff these joints are. So here he is right off. And look at that. He stands and understand Gung Ho and Roblox are very large figures. If I stand him up to Paz Vizsla, you can see exactly how big he is. If I take this steel brigade over here, I think Paz is going to fall over. Take the steel brigade, 
This is the size of all the Valiverse. They are tiny little figures. So as um, Thor had said, and tiny, referring to the Avengers. So let's go home. Here is his marine cover, which is what it's supposed to be. And let's see here. His backpack. And then his grenade launcher. That's why I don't like opening things live or in real time because you never how, you know how long it's going to take to get it out. So, like that. That's now trash. So, he does come with his figure stand that has the G.I. Joe symbol on it. As you can see, I just picked Stidham, didn't need it. His gun, look at that, nice and straight. This is a harder plastic, but not too hard where it feels like it's going to break. It is just all one color, and I'm perfectly fine with that. I mean, I do like when they put paint apps on it. And he does have the hole for blast effects. Got a nice little sidearm with the extended clip. I've seen they've been doing that. I know a lot of people feel they hate G.I. Joe. I actually got in this, oh well, someone actually said on a forum how Hasbro hates G.I. Joe. They hate guns, they call them blasters. I understand when they brought back the line, they definitely were trying to upgrade gi joe but people didn't want that so they listened and now people are complaining that they're not doing you know back in the day they didn't do exactly what they wanted so there's this knife this is a hard knife it's straight i do like how rigid these are compared to some of the other weapons they've had um it does have a paint app so it's just not all black the marine cover though does have the same logo on it that is on his chest. So they clearly did not want to pay the Marine Corps or the Marine Corps did not want to allow them to use their actual logo. And that's all well and dandy. This is what they want to represent as the Marine Corps. I know people are upset about it. I would love for it to be the original, but we're just not going to get that. And there's the backpack. We're going to compare all these. So here's the gigantic box. As I said, we'll just bring it down. It's coming down an elevator. There's Gung Ho. I think it looks really cool. Looks really nice. And then on the back, we have, <laughs> again, everything just so big in here. There you have his name, where he's from. And this guy right here will definitely be fighting. Well, he has been fighting my, um, uh, what's his name? Croc Master and his crocodile. So. We'll quickly take a look at these two figures, and here's the original vest. I really didn't have a problem with the original Gung Ho. I didn't like the fact that they were kind of modernized them. I've always hated the weapons. Here he has his little Joe communicator. Obviously much different than this one. Then you have the backpack. The pads went down. Here's the backpack that was supposed to hold the weapons compared to what looks like his original backpack. Then here's one of his guns. He had three different guns. They were all silver. It looked ugly. I couldn't find the other two. One actually was some sort of grenade launcher. But I don't have it. And frankly, I will never use these. So I don't even know where it's at. It doesn't look stupid. All right. So now we'll take a look at the figures. And I don't remember if this is... I believe this is what came with Gung Ho. It may be the Valiverse one. I think the Valiverse one was supposed to be more of a marine cover. Honestly, I don't know which one is which, because I don't like either one of them. So, the figure here, put them side by side, and it actually looks like the new Gung Ho is actually a little bit taller, and I think that just may have to do with the head sculpt. They use the exact same body. Um, going all the way down, just completely different paint apps. So they still have the steel style boots, just not painted to be metalized. And then he has the one textured knee and then one smooth because it's supposed to have a knee pad. So the bodies are the exact same. Head sculpts are completely different where we now have a bold 
gung-ho with a more traditional mustache and then we have chuck liddell so this gung-ho is pretty much a different figure and then they obviously made the chest a little bit different and also different hands where they gave him they took the gloves off so he just has regular hands but everything else is the exact same here you have the grenades they gave him shells for his grenade launcher but he didn't come with anything else. He had the elbow pad. They got rid of the elbow pad. And there was a communicator pad. Yeah, this communicator pad. So they got rid of all that. So let's get rid of that gung-ho. And now we will compare him to our O-ring. And my gung-ho always had this gun that came off of the, uh, the Mantis, I believe it was. That was always his gun. He had big hands, so you're able to hold it in there without worrying about snapping off the thumb. And then we have his grenade launcher. So we'll cl quickly take a look at both of these. So there's your grenade launcher compared to the overing grenade launcher. They did a really good job. You, there's no looking at it going, oh, those aren't supposed to be the same weapon. I like that they have the strap. So when I do give him a machine gun to carry, he can be holding this. Because he doesn't come with any other heavy weapons. And I do have a machine gun that I'll be using for him. So, we got the backpacks here. And this backpack here was painted or markered. I don't know why I don't have an original one, to be honest. That isn't painted. All the ones I've gone through in my entire life. So, you look at it. They did a really good job of redoing this. On the side, you have the straps, or little pouches on the straps. You have the straps going down here. They follow the same thing. And in the middle, and the same on the side here. And they even put detail on the middle there. And they made it so it has little legs, so it can actually stay up there. Now, one of the things I like about the Valivers, and I think that would be really cool if they did here, was in the Valivers packs, you can actually pop open and store stuff on the inside. I think that would have been a nice little touch had they done something like that, but they did not. No harm, no foul. So there's his knife, which will slide right in real nice. Don't have an issue there. And then you have his sidearm. Control slide in nice and easy. All right, so now let's see if we can bend them without having to warm up our figure. So boot cuts, no big deal. Ankle rockers, no big deal. And I will say the same thing. Well, so the Valibers are always pointing out how the straps get in the way. With Gung Ho, he's so big that there's no way he's going to touch his butt. But again, I will say again, how many of us can really do that? This knee, same thing. No pinless joints because this is built off the old mold. So that's why you're not going to see any pinless. But again, that really doesn't bother me as much as other people. You have the drop down hips. And as I said before, if you really want to do the drop down hips without worrying about breaking it, Spread them out into the Russian splits and then just move the legs down and they're going to be dropped down to where they need to be. Then you can just kind of push them back up. This guy is such a big guy. The drop down hips don't really work all that well. But that's the, that's a better way than trying to pull it down because it just slowly pushes them out the way that's supposed to go. And he has his T-pose. Actually, wow, actually kind of a little bit of popping action right there. All right, and then he has his double biceps. No issues there. Double bicep pose. Look at that. Hulk Hogan would be proud. He does have butterfly joints right inside there. Oops, look at that. They have butterfly joints, but you can only use use them so much. Okay, head down, up, back, forth. Should I try and pull his head off? <gasps> oh my God, I pulled his head off without heating it up and he didn't break. Well, I just shot all those Valibers fans that yelled at me that I have to heat the, you know what? 
not going to get into it in this video. So anyway, there's his head. Looks pretty cool. All right, I've rambled on way too long. Now let's compare him to our vintage O-ring. Go home. Oh, let's get them all steady. So this was clearly one of my favorite figures growing up. And when we put his head on him. That is how, in my opinion, Gung Ho should look. I absolutely love it. So, just quickly looking at the head sculpt. They got the same mustache. They obviously filled in here. And they did leave a little bit of space right there, like the original Gung Ho. I think the face sculpt looks pretty close to what he's supposed to be. They went with a bluish tattoo. Yes, again, not the same tattoo. I understand that. Now he's got the same blue style vest. And you can see he carries the same grenades up top that he does on the original. Now they put straps on there to make it look like it's holding down. And then he has two pockets, which he has two pockets here also. They did color the belt in, but they gave him like the, a, a brighter silver which is the same as you have here. And then you have your camouflage. Now they did change the camouflage. They didn't go with this green camouflage. They went with a, a brown camouflage. And on the side, you're gonna have his grenades for his grenade launcher. And his boots. So his boot has the knife. And then the sidearm, which is on the side here, the same side army as on this figure then you have the back he does not have pockets on the back no big deal the boots are a little different color where they went with black boots rather than the grayish boots but other than that i think this is a wonderful wonderful representation of this o-ring figure i think they absolutely nailed it here i love how big he is the cover is a darker green than this gung-ho but other than that i think it's really nice i think it works out um i think most people are going to be very pleased with when they get this in hand unless if you're a mint on card collector so let's wrap this up we'll put them together and then uh we can finish up the review okay so quick other thing that i should have I didn't really look at here, so we'll add this to the end of it here. So the, the one thing is, as nice as the strap is, it is hard to get on there perfectly. You can't really put his arm down, but if you're carrying like a machine gun or something, I don't know how much it's really going to get in the way. Because again, this is very stiff. Um, I would sort of love for this to be something a little bit softer, but unfortunately it's not. Uh, not that big of a deal. I think a lot of people are going to have him holding it. And and another glance, it actually is painted green. So the strap is does have a paint app on it, which I think looks good. Um, his hat there doesn't fall off. It sits on pretty nicely. So when you press it on there, it stays on. It's not an issue, but the other thing that I did notice that when I took his sidearm out and I put it in his hand, because of how big this figure is, as nice as the gun looks, it almost looks like um, a classified figure holding an O-ring uh, pistol. It's very, very tiny, where this gung-ho has a Valiburst weapon, and it fits much, much better. So there is that. I like the way this looks obviously much better than this little itty bitty tiny pistol of his. So those are just a couple of things I really should have gone over that I just kind of, uh, just kind of missed. I was actually getting a call at the end of it. So anyway, that's it. All right, so there you have it. That's the Gung Ho Retro Walmart Classified Exclusive. There's just too many. I did forget to mention 
the stand and how well he sits on the stand or if he does. So get the pegs, let's see here. Yeah, they seem to fit perfectly fine. So no issues there. I will say this, the backpack does seem to wanna maybe fall out a little too easily, but it's just huge and it also makes him a little back heavy. So this might be something you need to stand. I'm not a big fan of the stands. I just lost the stand anyway. They just seem to fit there and gotta say like, to see them standing there like that, man, he looks bad. Like he looks, not bad, he looks a badass. I mean, whew. They knocked it out of the park with this. Again, I think the backpack may tend to fall out a little too easily, but it is so big. They use such a small peg, um, and you really can't go back. They really should have done a little bit bigger peg size. When you compare them to his little mini-me, and I think everyone's going to be so happy. Again, the only complaint I think most people can have is, you know, the Marine symbol. But for me, like, it doesn't bother me. But again, I didn't serve in the Marines. I didn't serve in the military. So I can understand why someone that's in the Marines, that maybe was inspired to join the Marines because of this figure, might be disappointed. And I don't know the reasons why they didn't want to spend the money. The Marines, and I've heard different things, that the Marines don't really like selling that uh, or licensing um, uh, their, I don't know what it's called, so I'm not going to try and butcher it. Um, and then other people say, hey, you know, Hasbro doesn't want to pay for it. I really don't know what it is. But either way, it's not there. But again, I don't think you really notice it so much. The figure looks so good. And if it's sitting on, on a display, he's going to pop because of his color. There's, that's for sure. That, that color pops. So anyway, I am going to wrap it up. Um, I'll be getting this video up shortly. No, I'm telling you that because you're going to be watching it. All right, I'm going to get out of here. So anyway. Um, hopefully I'll be getting the Baroness either today or tomorrow, Destro. I have a feeling that's going to be on back order. I am kind of looking forward to, uh, doing that one. So anyway, um, again, if you want to follow me on the social channels, it is a punk with toys on Twitter and on Instagram. I've said this before. I'm very active on Instagram, uh, Twitter, not so much, but I do post, uh, follow, like, ring bell, all that notification stuff, it helps out the channel. It helps the algorithm. It does help me know that, hey, you know what? People are watching these videos. People enjoy. Hey, leave a comment. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. If you agree or what, if you disagree. We're supposed to be adults. So we should be able to communicate and have a good back and forth. So anyway, I'm out of here. Um, it's a beautiful day out here. Saturday. If you watch on Sunday, it's no longer Saturday. So anyway. Uh, have a wonderful day, and once again, happy toy hunting.